What's up guys? How's it going? I'm really excited to go over the uh, November game releases with you guys today. I know we're a few days into November already, so I do apologize uh, for being late on this. Halloween just kind of threw me off here. Uh, so we're going to go through the games that are coming out this month. I'm going to let you know what I'm playing. We'll check out a couple game trailers. Uh, and, uh, and we'll see what everyone's looking forward to. I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts on, uh, on, on what you, you'd like to see, and what you're excited to play. Uh, so let me just go over here. Let me make this full screen. Let me go over here. Uh, so we have, I wanted to buy a camo shirt. So I looked in the Cabela's catalog. I couldn't find one. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Um, so let's see, Race with Ryan. What is this like a Mario Kart type game? It's on the Switch. Looks like like a Mario Kart style game. Delta Squad coming out on the Switch. So we have some Switch stuff. Spirit of the North looks pretty, but I've never heard of it. Single player third person adventure game. Has anyone played this? Spirit of the North. Let me pause this. Let's look at the, like, let's just look at the trailer. Oh, this looks familiar, actually. Wait, what? Oh, wow. So you're a fox? It seems, it kind of reminds me of like Rhyme. Is it dead? Oh wow, this looks really cool. Oh my god, the fox sees I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Star Fox looks so different. Oh damn. This looks super cute. Reminds me of like it, it reminds me a lot of Rhyme. If you guys ever played that? R I M E. Huh. Yeah, that came out a few days ago. Huh, interesting. Okay. Has anyone played that in chat? I don't know what the kind of reviews it's getting. It's on PS4. It's only on PS4, it looks like. Oh, Just Dance 2020 comes out tomorrow. I've actually never played Just Dance. I've never played Just Dance. I feel like I would be um, amazing at it. We have a lot of games coming out this month. What else we got? Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Ooh. Oh, this is an old game, right? This is like a remastered or something? Or is this like completely redone? Alongside four new Olympic events? Oh, so maybe it's, it's, it's new. It's new, okay. That's cool. What else we got? Garfield card? There's a Garfield racing game? This all comes out tomorrow. What's black sad under the skin? Based on the world of the comic book series, black sad. Comes out on all platforms. Ah, huh, okay. I want to watch the preview for this. Full screen's unavailable, whatever. As many private investigators will tell you, the job consists mainly of dealing with two-timing husbands and wives. But once in a while, you're lucky enough to land the kind of case that can get you killed. Suicide. A bereaved daughter and a missing man. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. My job? 
Find Bobby Yale, a rising star from Joe Dunn's boxing gym. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. I confess, the idea of a good old missing person investigation raised my spirits. But my excitement was about to be put out like a cigarette, and my morale put to the test. You're a good man, Blackside. A simple exchange of information. If I wished to complete my job, shortcuts existed in the crime world. But did I really want to go down the path that put men behind bars? I'm gonna kill you! figure out how I'm still here. Hmm. That looks interesting. Wait, 926? Is this, I guess maybe it got delayed or something? Um, that looks pretty cool. Kind of has like, it gives me like a, uh, a Wolf Among Us type vibe. What website? Releases.com is what I'm using. It's pretty handy because it has like, um, all the trailer links and whatnot. Um, that looks pretty cool though. I had not even heard of that game. Planet Zoo, obviously we're going to play the heck out of- Dude, November 5th is crazy. We're still on November 5th and we have Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC. How many of you guys are going to be getting Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC? Uh, I'm going to be playing the heck out of Planet Zoo starting tomorrow. We've got some really fun stuff planned for it, so. I don't know what Aldika is. Oh, a VR rhythm shooter. I don't know why I, I almost assumed that this is what it was going to be. Uh, I just kind of want to like look at the gameplay for a bit. Is it going to have gameplay? Oh, I think I saw this. Oh, I think I the VR. Okay, yeah. This was like an E3 thing. This seems interesting. I mean, I don't know. VR is like, I'm not in like a rush to like buy VR games. I don't know. I haven't played VR in a while. I don't think I've even set up my VR. Um, I haven't heard of these. The Coma 2. Incredible Mandy. I haven't heard of any of these. And then these are really catching my eye, but let me know if there's something that you guys are like, Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. We have Death Stranding on the 8th. <gasps> Jumanji's having a video game? I feel like, oh, this is, the, looks based on the new movie. Isn't that The Rock? Or it looks just like, um... I feel like, um... These type of games are never good. But I kind of want to watch the trailer for, for lols. Yeah, this looks terrible. This looks... Oh, no. This looks really bad. Yeah, these are never good. Like, these... Are these PlayStation 2 graphics? Like, what's happening? Why... Why is this... Are just rhinos... What does this even mean? Is it a mobile game? Is it? It's not just mobile though. Mobile game would be fine. No, it's a PS4 game. PS4, PC, Switch, Xbox One. No. No. Golem, a PSVR game. We got Death Stranding. I'll probably check it out. I'll probably be scared. I don't know. We'll check it out. I'm curious. That game has my curiosity. Super Lucky's Tale. New Super Lucky's Tale. Never played. I guess it's like an old game that's like uh, people like. What's this? Layton's Mysterious Journey. The Millionaire's Conspiracy. 
puzzle title will contain many new characters. The story will focus less on dynamic problem solving, more on solving multiple mystery cases. Oh, this is a wait. Is this a level five game? The owner, if what? Okay, they don't have a trailer. Well, that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> All right, so we got Valferis. That sounds familiar. Truck driver. What is this? A, a truck sim game? Ghost of Epicness. Thank you for the 58 month resale. Thank you so much, Ghost. Yeah, so a truck driving sim. I don't think we need to watch the trailer. B simulator. What? Okay, we got to watch the trailer for B simulator. What the heck? An extraordinary world of miniature creatures. Become a bee. A tiny universe inhabited by a huge family. Very similar to ours. A world oh, full of beauty and secrets to discover. As well as everyday duties. work to do and enemies to defeat <gasps> oh, but no. no tale would be complete without a series of unfortunate events become a tiny hero and take on an epic adventure of miniature proportions <laughs> bee simulator oh I mean, that looks neat I don't think I'm like in a rush to play it, but it seems neat. I don't know how much it is, but yeah. It's probably fun for 10 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Oh, a cute little game. There's a Doctor Who game. Probably, I mean, these, again, they're just, these games are never good. But you know what? Let's, let's be humored by it. Okay. Well, that did not show anything. Well, that didn't show anything. Um, okay. Is, are people supposed to buy that from that? That comes out November 12th. Spider Solitaire. Okay, do people... Uh, this? I hope this is like a free game. Do people pay for Solitaire? What's spider solitaire? How is that different from solitaire? Uh, paranoia. Happiness is mandatory. Paranoia is a CRPG. All citizens enjoy a life of joy, cheerfulness, and cleanliness. Refusing to drink your daily dose of bouncy bubble beverage is an act of treason. Questioning the benevolence of friend computer. Okay, I'm 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 curious. You you got my curiosity. Peggy sixteen. When you're trying to adapt a tabletop role playing game to a video game, especially a, a tabletop game. I hope we get to see 80s, gameplay. You have to. I'm not gonna watch this whole thing. Let me. Modernize it. In the game, and they're also going to meet secret society. Friend computer is your friend. Interesting. Uh, about dialogue and what we call environment interaction, which mostly includes uh, hacking and crafting. Ooh. And each level would uh, be based on like these three pillars, 
sometimes more on combat, okay. sometimes more on dialogue, and sometimes more on, on, on crafting. Like an XCOM type game, yeah. To get the feelings that the companions could betray you at any moment, we ended up with this system where basically during the missions, you're gonna have certain officers behaving very suspicious. Uh, so they're gonna go and try to do something, or they're gonna be putting you into a situation where it's kind of like gonna force you to commit some sort of treason. By oh, doing wow. that, they're actually going to later during the debriefing report to you or not to Frank Computer. It all depends on your relationship Damn. with the bad officer. The dialogue system we think is, qu That's is quite really cool, and actually. And, different and they're um, adapting themselves, and we wanted the player to feel smart for adapting to all these crazy things that could happen at any moment. The interesting thing about Paranoia is that it's basically um, everybody is forced to commit infraction in order to complete their mission. And if you commit too many infractions, you end up being fried, losing a clone. So that's not what you want, but still, if you want to progress, you have to commit infractions. Your clones are a resource. Uh, when you clone... That's so you interesting. Actually that actually looks pretty neat. Honestly, that looks pretty legit. That is called uh, Paranoia Happiness is Manta Rates out on PC November 14th. That seems pretty cool. Sparklight is an action-adventure game. Players assume the role of Ada, a genius engineer lost in a changing land thrown into turmoil by gremlins. I don't know if I'm going to be into this. Let's look at the gameplay. Who is Ada? Ada is the hero of the game. She is a genius engineer who is on a mission to circumnavigate the globe. The During sound the quality. Journey, she encounters this weird storm that caused her to crash. I love the graphics. So my favorite trait about Ada, I think, is her bravery. Early on in the game, she plays against this huge monster. She's, you know, she's doing these Ooh, I really so like the aesthetic her. of this game. Um, this is pretty. I, you know, this, that'll be my trait for the day. Um, I like the fact that she's resourceful and intelligent. She's finding, you know, gadgets out in the world and inventing new items. That's cool. That's called Sparklight. That comes out uh, also on the 14th. Fractured Minds. These, these just look interesting. Immersive artistic short game exploring anxiety and mental health issues. Winner of the BAFTA Young Game Designers Award, Fractured Minds is a game created by 17-year-old Emily Mitchell. The hopes of aiding understanding and awareness of mental illness. Embark on a journey through the human psyche and experience six atmospheric and thought-provoking chapters, each symbolizing a different aspect or challenge associated with mental health issues. Okay, now I, I'm, uh, there's no, there's no um, pr uh, preview. Let me see, is there a trailer for this? YouTube Fractured, Fractured Minds trailer. There's one that came out in February. Let's look at this. This is what's wrong with me. Nice to ask me, mate. I said I'm fine. Just leave it, yeah? Stuff like what? I ain't even looking at nothing. You're twisted, mate. Sometimes I think about taking my own life. Stop it! Please! No, Mum! I can't take it anymore! I think this is for the game. Go to your room and cry. Just like you normally do. Sorry, this is, might be a Girl little triggering. Waste of space. Interesting. I don't know what the, the gameplay is like, but it seems interesting. And this came out in February 20... Oh, wait. This is a short film? I'm so confused. Is this a game? It's coming out for PC. I don't know. It's probably somewhat related. Nice graphics. That was not a trailer for the game. Okay, there's just something else called Fractured Mind that's like kind of related. My bad. It comes out the 14th. I'm sorry, we can't find an actual trailer. Um, but interesting concept. We got Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, Kingdom Under Fire 2. What else we got? Woven the Game. What's Woven the Game? 
Stuffed animals once lived in peace. Search for hidden secrets. Oh, like a little puzzle platforming game. How cute does this look, guys? Peggy Seven. Oh. A knitted world where woolen creatures once lived in peace is invaded <sighs> by the rattling sound of machines. Metal insects roam the land. Oh no. Unravel so their plans by all means. Meet Stuffy, a well-meaning but rather clumsy creature, all alone. Join with Glitch, a metal firefly without a past, having lost all he has ever known. Join the journey of this unlikely pair. Search for secrets that are hidden everywhere. Change Stuffy's shape as challenges are found. See the past unraveled. While wow, this is intense around. music. Woven. An epic tale awaits you. On Steam, PlayStation. That looks pretty cute, honestly. That comes out uh, November 15th. That looks pretty cute. We have Jedi the Fallen Order. Uh, really, really, really excited about that. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Astroneer comes out on PS4 on the 15th. That's dope. Astroneer is a lot of fun. I'm excited for Star Wars. We're not going to watch a trailer because, I mean, I think we already know. Uh, but it, that looks pretty cool. We also have Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out on the 15th. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to stream a Pokemon game chat? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, I've never streamed a Pokemon game. I'm going to play it. I just don't know if I'm going to stream it. Maybe we'll stream it a little bit, but I'm going to be playing Star Wars that day, too. Watch the Star Wars trailer. I, I'm already super hyped for the Star Wars game. Football manager? Uh, no. I don't think so. Are you guys going to get Pokemon Sword and Shield? I remember it's going to break me in a good way. I know, Rift Wallets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay, Jabber. That's fine. Thank you. Um... Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know which one I'm going to get. But I'm really looking forward to it. Narcos. There's a Narcos game. November 19th. A brutal tactical experience. <gasps> Ooh. Listen up, Agent. Get your squad together, lock and load, and move out. Get into position. Ooh. Remember your assignments and watch your six. Ooh. This is a war, so shoot to kill. Out here, it's not just about the tactics, it's the execution. Now the narcos, they're the real deal. They have the numbers, they're heavily armed, and they know exactly what they're doing. You're in their territory now. One wrong move, and you're dead. Drug dealing, uh, XCOM. Make no mistake, Colombia is in their hands, and you're playing by their rules. That looks cool. Uh, hopefully it's actually good. Like, I love XCOM style games and I love the Narcos, um, uh, show. So, I don't know. Hopefully that's good. Shenmue 3 comes out on November 19th. I never played Shenmue, but I know there's a lot of, a lot of talk about Shenmue. I don't know. Some stuff is like kickstart, backed on Kickstarter and then, I don't know, delayed or something. I don't know. I don't know. Black Future 88. Synthpunk roguelike 2D action shooter. Interesting. Oh, really? Trilogy? Thank you, FTL. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, we don't have to watch it. It's fine. Wait, wait. Why is this on twice? November 19th? What? Oh, it comes out on Xbox, what, three days later? Lost Ember, another game about a fox. 
Oh my god, is this like the same game? Is that a fox? I think it's a fox. Wow, this is like the same thing. <laughs> if you like foxes, this is your month. Atmospheric fox game. Oh, oh, it can be different animals. Ooh. Wow, this is like so similar looking. What's that, Razor? Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I'm not saying I don't like that kind of thing. I mean, I don't know if people play one, maybe you'll like the other. <laughs> it looks kind of similar. Um, Thief of Thieves season one. Cat burglar using. Okay, don't didn't we? Social engineering team members to pull off some high profile heist. Based another comic based game such a strange month for games oh boy This has like a this war of mine aesthetic, but it's very different. Good morning. Good. Comics from the same creators, Walking Dead. It, it sounds like a Hitman type game. Season one, so it's like Hitman, a Hitman style game. Um, oh my goodness. I'm here. <laughs> it's the wild boogers. <gasps> Hi, boogers. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone say hi to the boogers. Oh, put the sound back on. Put the music back on. Um, I looked at Disco Elysium, but I haven't played it. It's the boogers. He looks exactly like my cat. Interesting. You have a good nap? You got like something on your feet. Oh my goodness. A sleepy boy. What a sleepy boy. Summer and Dragon, please. Alright, what else we got? We're almost done. Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. Do you like sniping games? Civ 6. Is this a new Civ? Or is this like a, it's just coming out on other platforms? I, I never know. I don't know what Civ we're on. This is, I think, the same Civ, right? Or is it a new Civ? I don't know. Chat, help me. New Civ? No. Right? It is coming out on different platforms. Six was out for a year or two? Okay, yeah, I think this is just more platforms. Not new Civ, gotcha, thank you. Okay. So it's coming out on other platforms. We got a game called Weakless. Beautiful puzzle adventure game with stunning organic environments filled with curious life forms and a bioluminescent glow. Wow, look at these keywords.
I like how these trailers are nice and short. Those buzzwords. In a mystical realm inhabited by an enchanted Ooh. civilization, a strange rod suddenly appeared to its share on the happy folk. The fairy tale I'm about to tell you is unlike any other, as one of the folk's saviors is blind, and the other one is deaf. Yet both of them are truly gifted. One has exceptional hearing, while the other one brings light wherever he goes. Ooh. On their way to solve the mystery of the lethal rot, they will need to help each other. Only together can they embark on an adventure in the ruins of an old civilization, which neither of them would be able to fully experience alone. Who will guide our heroes? Who shall tell what they've heard and what they've seen? Who, if not you? This looks really pretty. I like the concept too. Weakless. That seems pretty cool, honestly. Yo, what's up, Steve? How you doing today? What's up, Steve? Steve is going to be our guest, one of our guests today on our show, the stream scene today at 5 p.m. Eastern, by the way, guys. We're going to be talking about accessibility in streaming and gaming with uh, Steve and Ratters. I'm really looking forward to it. And we're going to have an announcement, too, during the uh, during the show. <gasps> so you guys should tune in. Vilster with a three-month resub. Yo, thank you, Vilster, for the three months. I appreciate it. I'm so excited to get to talk to you, Steve. We have not formally met or spoken yet, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Mostly they had to talk about koala bears. <laughs> Vilser, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that. Um, that looks pretty cool, honestly, guys. Like, what are we? What's going on this this last week in November? Like, maybe we'll check it out. What spirit roots? We don't have a date for this. A warlike star system. Wait, what? There's no trailer. Dang it. Oh. All right, what's pine? Because this looks like a cool screenshot. An open world action adventure simulation game. You take on the role of Hugh, a smart young adult who will have to explore, trade, and fight his way through a vibrant world filled with creatures much smarter than humans. Okay. I am curious. I will be listening. I will be watching this. Let's look. Foxes, more foxes. Yo, today, this is the month of foxes. Uh oh. Oh, Booker thinks it's a dog. Bark. He's about to bark. Okay. That's okay. their story becomes yours that wasn't a great trailer i will say no borking yo what's up blue no borking boogers boogers um 
I don't know what that is about. Open world simulation. I love the those words so much, but I didn't really get that. It really it didn't really come across much at all in the trailer. I I I honestly that trailer did not show anything. What's with the foxes? What the fox is going on with these trailers th this month? Okay, YouTube Pine Gameplay. Let's look at some gameplay because I'm actually really curious about this game. Pine Gameplay PC. Okay, here we go. October 10th. Okay, sorry. Was that loud? Maybe. All right, let's just... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we got some quests. I love Booger. Give him a smooch. Boogers, boogers. Maybe like some slight fable vibes. Just like the aesthetic, the open world. What's up, Carly? Good morning. Boogers says good morning. He looks so unamused. Maybe he likes it. Do you like this booger? You are him or Dear, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dear M. Why are you embarrassed by my kisses, boogers? Hmm. It looks like Booker's playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, why are you growling? Why are you growling? You received an idea. These are concepts of items. Wait, what did that say? Okay, so there's crafting. This looks kind of neat, honestly. Little slow. Return to the tribe. We might have to check this out. Okay, Booker, stop being so grumpy. Really, Blue Jay? Oh, that's so hard. I I understand. I had this Pomeranian uh growing up that was like literally my best friend and she passed after like she was like 12 or 14 and man, it messed me up for a long time. I even kept her as my background for a while even like after I got Booker and then you know, it just took a lot of healing, but you know, the life that you give the happiness that you you give and you get from an animal makes it worth it, you know. And that's just that's just what you got to think about, you know. What's up, Ika? Anyways, this is, this looks pretty neat. This looks pretty neat. Um, we might check this out if we have we've got nothing going on at the end of the month. Um, so that's I think at the I think we're at the end here. That's the last one on our list. Uh, so we got a couple good games. That I'm excited for. Uh, we're you know we're still working on Outer Worlds. Uh, we've got uh, Planet Zoo coming out this week that I'm really looking forward to. We got Death Stranding looks interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what how I'm gonna feel about it, but uh, we got Death Stranding. We've got Star Wars coming out later this month. Um, we got Yaga that looks kind of interesting too. We didn't watch a thing about that. Uh, um, a couple interesting indie games. This is a busy month. Pokemon Sword and Shield. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of games. So what are you guys playing this month? What are you guys looking forward to? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing this every month. Uh, make sure to give me any feedback on how we do these. And uh, I will definitely try to make them better for you guys. So thank you guys for watching.